10.3G, factoring tr tricks with the greatest common factor. Now you're going to see problems that could be anything, but they will have a GCF in them. So we always factor the GCF first. So in our first example, when I look at this, I see I have a binomial. I notice that 9 and 81 have a common factor of 9, so I want to pull that out. And I notice that they both have an x. And my highest exponent for my x is 1, so we're going to pull that out. That's going to leave me with x squared minus 9. Now I want to look at this again and see if this what's inside my parentheses can factor again. It just so happens it's a difference of squares. So with that being the case, I do need to fa um, factor that again. I put plus in one, minus in the other. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of nine is three. I take a look again, make sure I have no common factors in my boxes to make sure that I'm done. Let's take a look at our second example. Well, it looks like they have a common factor of 2. I don't see that they all have an x, but it looks like they all have a y. So let's pull the y out. Looks like they, that's all they have in common. So that's going to leave me with x squared minus 6x plus 9. So now I have a trinomial in here. And I'm noticing here that I can take the square root of the x squared and the 9, so I'm looking to see if it's a perfect square trinomial. Well, is 2 times the square root of x squared times the square root of 9 give me 6? Yeah, it does. So that means a perfect square trinomial. So I'm going to take the square root of the first term, which is x, bring down the sign in the middle, square root of the last term, and then raise the whole thing to the second power. Double check, make sure there's nothing I can factor again. In this case, there's not. So then I know I'm done.